now we're going in the field to Wesley for our weather report. It's raining. It rains every day. The first three days we were here at the base where we had worship and training sessions every day. On Saturday, we left the base to go to our outreach. Our outreach was in a rural village outside of Sikiras, which was about two hours away. Once we arrived at the church that we would be staying at, which was a lot more like a pavilion, the boys got to work setting up the tent that they would be staying under. We also got to meet the dog that would be hanging out with us all week. dog that we found here and I'm just gonna call him Pedro because that's dog for Spanish. <laughs> wow! The language barrier. Most people in our five day outreach spoke only Spanish but it's amazing how much you can communicate using no words. Like when we're playing soccer slash football, you don't need any words at all. Showers. So originally we thought there were going to be some shower options during our five day outreach, um, but everyone just ended up bathing in the river. I personally loved the experience. We held church three nights at our outreach, Saturday night, Tuesday night, and Wednesday night. Tuesday night we performed our dramas and provided coffee and sweet bread to the attendees. We had a great time worshiping with the locals. We also hosted a kids club for the local kids in the community where they got to learn about Jesus, play some games, and get some treats. Yeah. And about what Moses wrote. opportunity to go along with our driver, Stephen, into town to get groceries for the day. One of the days, we were able to stop along the side of the road and get fresh pineapple. So they had us mix in this concrete. We were mixing stone, sand, and cement powder, and it was just super hot outside. We did it for three days, and we were doing it for about seven hours each day. And that'll be a grand total of 21 hours. So 
the heat was incredible. Average temperature was like 80 some degrees, but with humidity, it felt like 110. Um, it was rough, but we got through it. Some of us were a little bit more cold than others. Ain't that right, Lee? Kind of chilly, a little chilly. Yeah, yeah. And go. For evangelism, we walked around the streets of Sakiris and the streets that were around the church. I was extremely amazed at people's hospitality and their readiness to invite us in to give us bread and coffee and just their readiness to be generous to us. A few of us took a tour of a passion fruit farm, which was really cool. There was a really pretty view because it was up on a hill, and we got to learn all about the process of how passion fruit grows, how they have to fertilize the flowers um, manually because they don't have enough bees and insects to do it for them. We had a really great time getting to know the local kids. Greta became friends with a boy named Isaiah, or Asai in Spanish, and he taught her some Spanish as well. We also became friends with a little boy named Abdel, whose grandparents lived right next to the church, so he would hang out with us a lot. Thanks. That's what he was showing me. So you eat it. And he's learning English, and I don't know Spanish, so it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's <was> difficult. <laughs> That's but, awesome. But uh, he, he showed me this, so. Amazing. So, It was really hard to say goodbye to the kids, but on the last night where we got to celebrate with ice cream, which as you can imagine, melted very quickly, Abdel got to spend some time with us. <laughs> How is ice cream? It's bussin'. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> they were a bit like camping and on the first night around 4 30 in the morning we were awakened uh, by nature's chorus of howling monkey war cries rice and beans. And for supper, we sat down to a nice meal of rice and beans. Is it bussin? Excellent. Yep. The boys found a hot pepper and an orchard. Little tip, do not eat them. <laughs> Naomi, however, is, seemed immune to them. <laughs> He likes spicy. <laughs> Did you eat it? Is it bad? Naomi doesn't care. Naomi's the strongest person here. For our adventure day, we went whitewater rafting, which was a really cool experience. Then we went back to base and had an amazing dinner of Little Caesar's pizza, which as you can imagine was really amazing after all of those rice and beans. Then that night we had a worship night and went to bed. The next day we just hung around base, some people played some volleyball, and then we headed out to get some souvenirs before going to the airport to go home. Basically, it's a school, and there's three months of intense training in Casa Vida Net, 
seven months of outreach somewhere in Central America. And it's a wonderful opportunity to be more involved and grow deeper in your relationship with God. A couple of us are seriously considering joining this program.